Welcome to your daily escape from reality and woodworking. Well, I guess you're not really escaping from woodworking. It's just kind of what this channel is. Sort of. Hey, if one woman can come up with a book of 14,000 things to be happy about, I'm sure we can come up with our own. I was just out playing with the cats and here are two simple things that made me happy. My rainbow table and the way it's weathering. How cool this pallet wood wheelbarrow looks as it ages. I love the way it just struggles to stay upright. Time to get started on these doors. I think what I want to do is try to find an area where these, you know, individual boards look right. I think it'll look a little bit better if I offset it so that there's like narrow boards on the two sides and then wider boards in the middle just to give it a little bit more interest. I've got this flush trim bit in my router and what it has here is this bearing that's gonna run along that frame trim that I made and this blade is gonna cut the siding flush with it. Now I can rip out those inch and a half strips for the edge banding all the way around the doors. And I'll glue and tack these on flush with the front. It's gonna overhang on the back. I brought one of the old doors in here so that I can mark where these recesses are for the hinges. I need to route those out just a little bit so that they sit flush. I think what I'm gonna do is just measure to where that hinge sits based on where there's no paint. I've installed a straight bit in my router and also this extra long base plate that I made just so that the router doesn't fall into the recess as I'm making it. I've added a mark here and a mark here so that I know where to stop the router. So I'll just come up this way, stop, come down this way, stop, and then I can carve out the middle. I kind of goofed right here where I set the router down, but in general, I think this will work. Here's the hinge. It'll fit in there just like that. Oh, and in case you're wondering how I'm stabilizing this, I just have a pipe clamp down here, and then I have this one over on this side. And then while I'm routing them out, I just kind of straddle the door. I've marked exactly where this hinge should go based on the other door. And I'll go ahead and drill the holes now. Okay, I'll give this a shot and see how it fits. You know what I did? I put the hinges on backwards.
Take two. Okay, looks like we got a door. I brought the doors back into my shop. I still need to make that strip that conceals the gap between the two doors, and then I want to sand them really good and then paint them. I think I'm just gonna paint them a single color. Shh, don't tell management. Believe it or not, this video that you just watched took me two days to film, and not because of any special problems with woodworking, but something else. Let me tell you the story about what happened yesterday. Our two cats, Cobra and Bubbles, are basically indoor cats, but we've been gradually taking them outside a little bit, wearing harnesses and keep them, keeping them on leashes. In the past week or so, we've started taking them off the leash and just kind of letting them roam around the yard a little bit while watching them all the while. But I let my guard down, and yesterday I had them outside for about 15 or 20 minutes, and I thought, you know, they seem to be doing okay. Let me come into the shop and get a little bit of work done. I was in here for about 10 minutes and all of a sudden I heard bubbles outside the door just going mew 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 this like panicking meow and I could see her out there on the ledge I'm like what is wrong because she doesn't really meow that much so I opened the door and she was like hurry hurry Timmy's been trapped in a well you know <laughs> she's like come with me and so she started walking really fast up into the yard and over towards the back gate like meow 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 the whole time just like follow me follow me I'm like what do you want what do you want and I'm looking around Where's Cobra? Where's Cobra? I couldn't find him. Maybe he's just in the other part of the yard or something. So I went looking around the yard. Cobra? Cobra? I got the clicker. Click, 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 click. Nothing. I started to panic. We started searching around the house, all over the house. We searched in the house just in case for some weird reason he was in the house. We searched uh, across the street. We started expanding the search. We talked to all of the neighbors. I made flyers and we posted them up for a lost cat. My phone number, I was just like going crazy with this cat wondering where is Cobra? I continued working on my video and on these doors for a little while longer and I was just like, not in the right headspace at all to be doing that. So I, I stopped working on that yesterday and we really focused on hopefully trying to find Cobra. Probably the saddest part of all of this was Bubbles because they're brother and sister and she just kept pacing the entire house, just meowing and meowing for the entire day and she's just searching for Cobra. Dinner came. Nobody really felt like eating. We just kind of sat around moping and we're kind of coming to this realization that Cobra may not make it back. He's a young cat. He's only been outside a few times. He doesn't know the neighborhood. It's very likely he got out, got scared, and started, just got turned around and went the, the wrong direction. I knew I wasn't gonna get any sleep because all I could do was just think about Cobra being out lost in the dark someplace. And again, Bubbles came to the rescue. Wyatt was in the living room and he, all of a sudden she started meowing, meowing at the door. And he was like, what is that? And he heard like a thunk at the door. He ran over to the glass sliding door and there's this cobra, boom, 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 pounding on the door <laughs> to get in. So let him in and now he's safe. Bubbles is a hero. She saved the day both times. <sighs> Anyways, that's all I've got for today. Let me know down in the comments. Give me some ideas, simple things that we can all be happy about.